What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the Canon SL2 and is it worth it to buy it in 2020? Roll the intro. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the video quality. It can film 1080p at 60 frames a second. 30 frames a second and 24 frames a second so that's really good for filming b-rolls and vlogs and everything um it's also got this flip out screen that you can use for uh vlogging like this you can look at see what your camera is seeing you can also if you're shooting a lower uh clip you can look down at it or above you for shooting overhead shots that's a really nice thing to have um the kit lens that came with it is the efs 18 through 55 millimeter lens its aperture is like 4 through 5.6. It's a pretty good lens for just be, just for the kit lens. Um, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection, so you connect it to your phone using the Canon Connect app. So you can transfer photos and videos quickly to your phone. Uh, it's also got this mic mount on the top of it, so you can uh, put a mic on or like a flash or something. It's also got the the mic jack on the side for plugging it in so its ISO range is 100 through 25,600 so it's got a big range for that and it's actually really good at low light shooting at night it's not all grainy its megapixels is 24.2 so if you like zoom in on a picture it's really clear and shoot continuous at five frames a second the autofocus on this camera is really good it's got dual pixel autofocus uh, it like tracks stuff really good if you like hold something up to the camera it'll focus on it it has face tracking so you can like it'll track your face it's really nice for vlogging okay i'm going to be going through the pros and cons of this camera uh starting off with the pros it's going to be uh the lightweight of this camera it's super light and really durable for being a dslr usually they're a lot bigger and heavier uh compared to mirrorless cameras uh another pro is the uh the video quality uh 1080p at 60 frames a second another pro is a 24.2 megapixel sensor on this camera is just really nice for clear images because the last one I had before this was 12 so this is a big upgrade I love it a lot the autofocus it's really fast the, the, the dual pixel autofocus is just it's really quick and vlogging and tracking your face for the price of this camera I love it it's really nice the last pro would be the flip out screen obviously if you would want that uh, depending on what you're using it for but that just really helps out with a lot of stuff now the cons of this camera are going to be for me the fact that uh, the continuous is only five frames a second, which isn't a lot, but I mean, it, it does a job, but I would prefer a little bit more, but for the price that you're paying for this, five frames is decent. And um, another con is it's really difficult to get to the battery and the SD card. It's like just this weird little hatch. I just would like it to be easier, but that's just kind of me. Depends on what you like. Another con is it cannot shoot 4K which kind of stinks, but for someone that doesn't really care, I guess it doesn't matter, but you can't film any 4K time lapses or 4K clips, so 1080p is the highest resolution that you can use on this camera. Is this camera worth it in 2020? Yes, because yes, it's three years old and the processor is a little outdated. It's the Digic 7 processor, but it's just really good. Um, the autofocus, the vlogging, I bought this used for a little bit under $400 off of eBay, which is a really good price because when it first came out, it was like five or $600. Thanks for watching this video. Please give a like and subscribe uh, to see more videos like this. Fine. Oh.